This video will introduce you to library search, including how to access it, how to conduct a simple search, use filters, and other important features. You can access library search from the MyUCA homepage. You simply have to scroll down until you find the menu on the left hand side and then click on My Library. You can also access library search from your unit area if you scroll down and find learning and research in the left hand side and click on my library. This will take you to the landing page for your subject and the library search link is right in front of you there. Okay, now that we have library search open, I'm going to do a simple search. So I type my search into the search box and I click on the search button and the results will appear and just to highlight some key features here so we can see at the moment it's showing us um, lots of different resources um, you can actually slim your choices down by using the filters on the left hand side of the page so at the moment i'm seeing lots of things books uh, journal articles uh, book chapters various different things so i'm just going to slim it down to books alone so i'm going to click on the books filter and you can see it changes the the view for me um, and you can see at a glance as well um, where we have that book available. So you can see uh, for this one that it's uh, on shelf in Farnham. Um, for this one, you can see we've got copies of Farnham, but also at Epsom as well. So you can actually find out at a glance how many copies we have in stock and on which campuses they are available. Um, if we scroll down, we can also use some other filters. So there are quite a few different ones. Um, but I recommend you familiarize yourself with them. Um, one of the useful ones is to filter by campus. So if I just choose Epsom, for example, then that will just show me books that we have on the shelf at Epsom. If you'd like to find ebooks specifically, if you click on the full text online filter, while you have the book slash ebook filter on as well, you can see that it will change your search and only return ebooks. Um, now you can see I've got that Judith Butler um, book at the top, so if I want to access that one, I can just click on the full text online link, and that will open that book straight away for me. I'm going to leave you with one more example. Um, this time I'm going to search for a journal article. So if I put in a search term first, and do another search. Uh, one thing I'll note is that you'll see that on the left hand side it's remembered what filters I've already applied. So there's a really quick and easy way to get rid of them. If I click on the clear filters button at the top, that starts me from scratch again. So this time I'm going to look for journal articles. So I'm going to apply a couple of different filters just to show you um, how they work. So first of all, we're going to go for journal article. I'm going to put on scholarly and peer reviewed, which means I'll only get the most rigorous academic content. And I'm also going to search for full text online just to make sure I can access the full article and just to make sure i'm getting the most recent research i'm just going to change the publication date and we're going to drag this slider up until the last let's go for the last kind of five years or so and then you can see that it filters the results accordingly now if i scroll down you do have some other means of filtering as well so you can narrow it by by subjects if you're interested in neoliberalism in particular, you can click on that subject term and then it will find things that relate to both, both post-feminism um, and neoliberalism or things that have a crossover subject, as you can see. Um, and if I want to access that article, I simply have to click on the full text online link to open it. Thank you for listening to this introduction to library search. If you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to find out how to do advanced searches, or if you'd like to find out how to use library search with our click and collect service, please check out our other videos.